burning through the frozen wastes on dozens of legs is the Rimuraz. Or Polar Worm, Ice Worm, whatever you want to call it, this chittering nightmare is the worst thing you're going to run into short of older dragons. It's also one of like five things that live out there exclusively. For the Rimuraz, this makes perfect sense. It's hard to find something better suited for Arctic climates. It's immune to cold despite the white dragons, and at 40 feet long, it's twice the size of the local giants. Anything smaller than those giants gets swallowed whole in a perfect ambush made with burrowing and tremor sense. It basically has an internal furnace that it can vent at will, which melts through snow with ease and scorches anything trying to fight it. Anything else that tries this trick will find that it's immune to heat. Meant as a defense against red dragons and other worms, but works just fine against wizards. What was that about only fireball? With these things running around on top of the frozen conditions, how does anything survive up there? Well, for starters, they're a bit smarter than your average goat, so they can be outwitted pretty easily. They also have to survive long enough to become a threat, and a lot more creatures can handle their young CR5 form. Frost giants even fight the adult ones as tests of strength. Well, that and death snatch the eggs, so they can train them as pets. The bugs tend to turn on them when they're fully grown, but the giants are always up for punching stuff. Humanoids also hunt these eggs, making them extremely dangerous mounts and guards. Some even manage to ally with wild ones, providing them medicine and guarding their eggs in exchange for companionship and not being eaten. That's the locals, though. You can't forget the universal predator, the one thing that keeps all creatures in check. Four to five idiots sent out by a witch to get some monster parts. What? The chitin's great for fire-related magic items. It's a legitimate market. And the advice I give them is simple. Just hit them hard and fast with saving throws. These new broods won't melt weapons on contact like the old days, but they still hit hard and often. Their mental stats are some of the worst in their CR, though, so if you can, try to hit them there. All that said, they really are prolific. Basically anywhere it's eternally cold can have these things burrowing around, and battles with them are typically simple but sudden and brutal. Unless you've annoyed a worm-riding tribe or monastery, of course. These things are built for surprise, but most prepared parties will expect them at this point. So, I had an idea. You can tell by the music change and see in the link in the description. How about we move these from the polar desert to the sandy desert? A frosted glass remores. Heat so potent it melts loose sand in the glass and leaves sparkling tunnels around the desert. To survive, it lost the internal combustion but not the heat removal leaving it with frosted insides. This lends to keep the gimmick of its bite-dealing damage you weren't prepared for. Make them translucent without light glare to double down on that frosted glass pun, throw in a young one for consistency, and we have something to terrify your party with in the desert. No way they're seeing that one coming, unless they've also seen the video, but the view count suggests otherwise. You can help change that with a like though, and subscribe for more weekly content. Class dismissed!